Japan, gambling is illegal, but even underage kids can gamble. How does it work? Have you ever tried claw machines? These wonderful inventions when you drop a coin and you get to try play the game and get a figure or whatever. Kind of version for adults are pachinko machines, which is basically kind of similar, maybe less similar thing. It's, it's more like a lag-based thing. Uh, but claw machines are perfectly legal. They have some element of skill. And it's not really gambling per se. It's sort of skill based, depending on how those claw machines are set up. And you can buy, you can get plushies and all that stuff. And so, some, some companies only release specific figures for specific claw machines. So sometimes you can only get that one specific thing if you go to that specific place and play and win from the claw machine. Turns out it's super, super fun and super addictive. The only issue is that you have to keep yourself in check to not spend too much money, but sometimes, sometimes it kind of works out. And for example, this free run figure, well, you can only get it from Qual Machine. So, I can say that there's a conspiracy theory, but I so far, I, what I've noticed is that if there is some cool new popular figure coming out, usually the, the machine is just calibrated to, to be as hard as possible to get. It's sometimes even just literally impossible. Let's find another claw machine place. <laughs> In Namcos, let's see if they have anything, any figures, and maybe machines are actually better, hopefully. Ah. But there are some figures as well. It wasn't, it wasn't easy, per se, but finally Nijika has joined the, the club of figures. You can ask, what's the verdict? Well, it turns out that places where there are loads of tourists, I mean loads of tourists, they're sort of shit for Korean machines. Literally every place that I tried in here that has insane tourist flow, I mean, Bear in mind, city center. The claw power is so low and all the surfaces are super grippy. While I tried places outside of city center, more like where realistically actual locals go, suddenly it's so much better and price is literally a half. Basically each place like literally half the price from the city center. So yeah, well, it turns out don't go to city center claw machines. Who knew, right? Finally. It would be shit to abandon now. Yes, finally. Well, our second win today. So as I was saying previously, essentially if you want to actually win some stuff, like in this case, free run and mem, I keep forgetting her name. Essentially you have to go outside of city center outside of tourist traps because in here for 500 yen you get six tries in previous place the other day well yesterday for 500 yen you only get three tries and the machines are just so much worse so what i'm trying to say is that just go go outside the tourist trappy areas and you'll have actually some fun because in here you can win prizes are same literally the same figures. See smaller places, they're nicer, people are nice in there, and just in general, more fun, because you get stuff.